I created the smallest possible player in MLB The Show, and we're gonna find out if he can get to the major. Since I'm a two-way player, we have to consistently dominate the minors as both a pitcher and a hitter to earn a call-up, which will definitely be easier said than done. At only 5'5", five 150 pounds, I don't have any power, and I was tired of home run pitches getting caught at the track as I was really struggling early. I needed to play to my strengths, and I helped out my team against Corpus Christi by smacking this one into right field, but with the game on the line, I was the tying run, and I got jammed by a fastball high and in side. We lost the game 9-7 to seven, and I realized that I really needed to hit the weight room if I wanted to make the majors. We were down 1-0 in extras in our next game and I managed to get two aboard with a walk. This would help me advance to third base and I became the walk-off game winning run to help us even the series going into my start on the mound. Pitching was definitely my biggest weakness as my fastball barely touched 90 miles an hour but I still had good strikeout upside keeping hitters off balance with my off-speed stuff and got the win for my team. This start had me feeling more confident going into my next game as I changed my stance to get a better swing which paid off on this 8th inning single. I absolutely needed to improve my power if I even wanted a chance to go to the show, so it was very encouraging to absolutely square up this pitch and hit a double with my brand new stance. I led the league in batting average midway through the year at 323 and I was improving my attributes every single day. More doubles also helped my OPS go up over 700, but I was still waiting on my first career dinger. We were in a series against Wichita and I hit this 2-2 pitch hard to right center for a single before hitting another single in the third to score my teammate and help get us the win. I was on the mound down one nothing, but my fastball's velocity had slowly improved and I got the inning ending strikeout as I finished strong using my brand new slider to get the win. I was at the plate with two on in our next game and I wanted to come up big, driving this pitch way back! to the wall, to center field, but the outfielder robbed me of my first home run. So no dingers yet, but we're still leading the league in batting average. My warning track power was losing us games and I was getting frustrated as I looked to redeem myself against Springfield, but once again, got robbed. I was happy to be hitting the ball farther, but I just needed to be patient and help my team win. We were up four to nothing, looking to stay undefeated in the series, and this weak hit to right field got past the defender to help my teammate score as I rounded first and had myself another double. I really I realized that I didn't have to swing for the fences to be a good hitter and I finally cleared the bases with a beautiful gapper into left center field as I added another double to my great day and my team got a huge win. I was consistently hitting the ball hard and this was one of my hardest hits of the season as we looked for the sweep against Springfield. We were tied 1-1 to in the 6th and I collected my second hit of the day, gapping another double into right center field which I would later score on to win us the game. I completely changed my approach at the plate, only swinging at good pitches and drawing more walks. And this approach paid off on my next at bat as I waited on the slider driven high and deep to right field and over the wall I finally hit a home run and my three RBI day helped us win our fourth straight game I found out that when I played well my team played well but I got into some trouble on the mound thankfully I was very clutch to get out of the inning and tossed seven scoreless to complete the sweep I was on fire with an ERA under three and the power in my bat helped my OPS approach 800 I went from only being able to hit singles to being a double machine and it was really helping my slugging percentage as I had the chance to be called up to AAA by the end of the year. I had grown into Arkansas's offensive MVP and I was helping us win a lot of games with great stat lines just like this one. However, I knew I wouldn't get the call up without dominant pitching and I needed a great start against the Naturals. My strikeout upside allowed me to be dominant through five innings, but I fell apart in the seventh inning down one nothing as I gave up an RBI single and cost my team the game. I realized I was the lowest rated pitcher in the entire Mariners organization and I needed to make some changes if I wanted the call up. Thankfully, I realized I unlocked a ton of new equipment over time that helped out my stats, and my new bat was especially game changing as I was driving in RBIs left and right to get my OPS over 800 for the first time in my career, and that was apparently all I needed to do as my manager sat me down and promoted me to AAA. After being tested for steroids, I played my first AAA game starting right where I left off in Arkansas. My rainbow bat made me even more dynamic at the plate as I could adjust to the speed of AAA with two hits in my debut. My team didn't win in my debut, but I was confident knowing it wasn't my fault, and I focused on the next game where I hit my first extra base hit to help get my first AAA win. We were down one to nothing in our next game of the series against Sacramento, and I wanted to show my team that I was clutch as I hit a hard double into the gap in the eighth inning. However, my team couldn't score me, and we lost another one. I immediately realized that pitching at AAA is much harder than pitching in AA, and I was starting to worry I wasn't ready. However, my team finally gave good run support, and I settled down 
in the second inning. I gave up my shutout in the fifth and was in some trouble as this weak RBI single cut our lead to just one, but in the end, I showed I belonged in the rotation, holding on for a clutch win. I was surprised I was hitting for so much power at only 5'5", 5 5, 150 pounds, but I had quickly lived up to my name as the scrawny slugger. I was quickly becoming one of the league's top prospects as the doubles kept coming my way and I was putting together quality starts on the mound. We were tied with the Bs in the bottom of the ninth inning and I managed to smack this high inside pitch back up the middle to get aboard with the clutch single. The only problem, however, is that my team left me stranded and we took another loss. I realized that my team was absolutely terrible throughout a losing streak and the low team morale had put me in a slump as my OPS had fallen below 700. I was not being a good teammate as I only had one RBI in my entire time at AAA and I was desperate to change that, watching this no doubter go over the fence for my first home run at AAA. Doubles are great, but sometimes you gotta go over the fence. I thought my home run could help my team find momentum against the Dodgers as I got another hit, but I learned I couldn't be a one-man show as our team blew the lead and lost the game. I was feeling helpless on the mound in our next game, taking the loss, and this lack of confidence followed me into our next series as I was unsure at the plate, and we lost four out of our first five to Sacramento. I had not been good on the mound lately, and I gave up six runs to lose the last game of the series as my ERA was suddenly well over seven. We were also way under 500 and definitely not going to the playoffs. I was suddenly in danger of being sent back down to double A, but my double helped us get on the board and spark us to a comeback win against Sugarland. Then amazingly, the same thing happened in our next game as I tied up the game with an RBI single to left center. I needed a rebound start on the mound and this clutch double play helped us secure a one run victory as my pitching ratings were gradually improving. We were in extras against the Dodgers and I was not gonna let them sweep us again as my two out single would give us the game winning run. Then I put a cap on the season, watching this ball fly deep and gone in the final game of the year, giving the Mariners organization something to be excited about moving forward. I didn't end with the best numbers, but I found a way to turn my season around and stay at AAA. I was only 19 years old, so I didn't expect to be called up to the majors for a couple of years. I gradually improved over the next two seasons, getting up to a 70 overall at 20 years old, but I still wasn't getting the call I wanted from the Mariners. I was getting frustrated and impatient that I was still in the minors, especially since I consistently led the league in batting average. I feared that this could be my last year with my hometown team unless things changed. The Mariners finally invited me to spring training in my fourth season, but I had never faced big league pitching. Despite this, I got my first hit of the spring in my first game, hitting a slider back the other way. This spring training invite is the closest that I've ever gotten to the major leagues, so I tried to embrace it the best I can and even gapped a nice double against the Diamondbacks. I showed plenty of flashes throughout the spring, but I was humbled and realized I wasn't ready for the majors as I was optioned back to Tacoma. This completely destroyed my confidence as my ERA was terrible to begin the year and my slash line was even worse. It felt like I had already peaked at 21 years old and I started to fear that I was never going to make the major leagues. I needed to turn my season around and this home run against the Dodgers helped me get back on track at the plate. I got out of hibernation in an attempt to save my career and I could finally take another trot around the bases. But Seattle would never call me up if I also wasn't a good pitcher and I continued to struggle on the mound in my third year of AAA. I wasn't improving very fast and it was clear that the Seattle Mariners had completely lost faith in me and I desperately needed to get out of my hometown to avoid becoming a bust. I felt like a failure after the Mariners didn't offer me another contract, but I realized that the Orioles were a perfect situation for me to revive my career since their best starting pitcher was only 77 overall. I spent the off season and every day off working on my pitching mechanics and it was paying off in my first start as I retired the side in my first and second inning showing that dominant strikeout upside that got me to AAA in the first place. I wanted to make Seattle regret giving up on me and I was off to a very fast start with my new team. Then the second start of my career went even better as I didn't give up a single run and brought my ERA down to .39. However, I was beginning to worry that this success was temporary as I gave up an early three run shot to Ryan Valade to put my team down 3-0. But I knew I was on thin ice and I couldn't waste my team's comeback and refound a groove as I struck out six batters and survived the outing. Thankfully for me, that was the worst start in the most dominant stretch of my career as I finally turned the corner and figured out AAA pitching at age 21 and it didn't take long before the Baltimore Orioles called me up, sending me to the major leagues and completing the challenge.